building the um, pulse detonation engine part two. I have all the components built now to be able to finish assembling the pulse detonation engine. This is our um, fuel delivery line which has got a tap on that end coming up to a quarter copper which then goes into our inlet coil which is um, in contact with the surface here and as that gets hot that should cause the fuel to become quite hot maybe to the help to help it sort of vaporize the fuel will come through the delivery pipe up to the manifold on the top here through the quarter at the bottom and uh, into the injector which is electronic control this all screws on the top and out the other side we've got a bit of 516 pipe which comes down to be able to bleed anything off there so we don't get any air in the system we get proper fuel um, that will be assembled. On this side all we have is air inlet with a bit of a swirl set up inside and it will have copper down to the back. It has a tap to turn the air on and off and a needle valve to adjust the amount of air. The amount of air will be dictating whether the fuel mix is right and also we have to, we'll be purging between strokes. In the centre here we have the section which is modified to try to help promote the uh, detonation. The last bit is just a straight tube and the back section is, a, is this pipe here which is expanding and that should help promote detonation as well. I've now put it all together. I'll be using this nickel anti-seize on all the threads. If I need to disassemble or need to move it, I can unscrew it all and put it into a smaller container to take it to wherever it's got to go. This is the cradle which I've modified to hold the um, pulse detonation engine. It uh, uses clamps to hold the position. This cradle has actually got a couple of drawer sliders on it either side and it's got a scale on here so this will come out this way. I can lock it if I'm not using the scales with this end otherwise I'd unlock it, set it at zero. The scales here should be give us an indication of the thrust that's being generated by the pulse detonation engine. This is another thing I've had to build. The engines, if it goes, will be quite loud. Even just, dip, just um, def deflagration, it's quite loud. So I've set this up as a muffler to try and quiet it down. I will try and see if we get detonation first. If we do, then I'll be trying to use this to control it, a bit of the volume for the neighbours. Basically set it up. Um, fuel injection triggered by the um, 12 volt system there, the Arduino coming back down to the spark plug which is also triggered by the 12 volt uh, Arduino then we get the fuel air intake coming along that way down here we have the fuel intake which is preheating going through to the muffler standing on the new stand on the air intake we have here we have the um, valve for turning the air on and off and regulating the air which is the best way to um, get the right fuel air mixture on the fuel side of it, the fuel is pressurised to the um, injector at about 80 psi, normally 40 something, but it's 80 to try to get more atomisation. We have air coming through into the in, straight through to the airline, and the fuel one is coming come off here and it's regulated back to 80, which is then into the into the tank here, pressure tank, which has got a bottom pickup. And this is what we're using for fuel. So put a couple of litres of fuel in that. The fuel gets pressure above it. The fuel is underneath. The pickup is in below. And then we get pressurised fuel down through the tap there, right the way down, heated into the fuel injector, and which is time for the fuel injector. So that's the Arduino there with a, um, a shield on it for um, can adjust it while it's while it's running. Um, and the inside here is a, is a coil and uh, the pipe, the, the electrical side of it. As you can see, this one here is the one for the triggering the um, fuel, in, fuel injection, and the other one is the coil coming straight out of there to the um, spark plug. Um, all I have to all really do now is get some fuel. So I'll fuel the tank up, hook up the power for the battery, and I can give it a try. So that'll probably be the next, the next part of the video.